Hello everyone, Toby here from AbletonRomer.com. I develop Max for Live devices for missing functions for Ableton Live or for just cool things to perform with Ableton Live. So I have a pack for you here, a new pack which is all about the groove section and uh, you know that you can apply different grooves to Ableton Live and I have four devices here which are all about grooves. So the first one is for applying grooves to all clips on one track. The second one is for applying grooves automatically for clips you just recorded. Really cool for live looping stuff. And the third and the fourth one are for automating and accessing groove parameters via a MIDI controller or even to automate those parameters via MIDI dummy clips. So let's start with the first one. So here we have one track where we want to apply all to all clips we want to apply the same groove so let's have a listen to the first one here so this is just the clean i'm going to turn this down a little so this is just the clean beat here and we want to apply this groove we got on on this one here we have the same beat but with a swing logic eight for eight notes being applied pretty heavy here so just uh, that you can hear the difference. Okay, so if we now just select the different loops, uh, the groove, and you can see you have the different grooves you got in here, down in the menu below here. So if you add a different groove to this one here, you can see that it's showing up here as well. You can select the groove you want to apply to all clips. So I just go on and take the the swing logic eight notes here and I can hit apply groove bomb and now you can see that all the different clips have this first group being applied and if we play this clip now all the other clips in here the same groove is being applied or this groove I selected here is being applied to all clips Okay, so let's go to the next device here. We have the automatic application or auto, auto apply grooves after recording on this track. So this is really cool for live looping stuff. For example, if you want a certain feel to be printed on the clips and on the recordings, you just live loop. If you're not aware of that, I have a one button live looper. And there's a link in the video description. If you are into live looping, check it out. It might be something for you. Okay, so let's say we want to apply this swing logic eight notes here to the clips I'm recording on this track here, my two audio or track two, track number two audio here. So let's record something. And you can hear that this was automatically applied to this clip and you can see the Swing Logic 8 notes is being applied to recordings on this clip. So the third and the fourth device here, those devices are all about um, control and automate groove parameters. So as you can see, if you go to the MIDI map menu here, you can't actually access those um, values here for the, the those parameters for the single loops here um, via the MIDI, but you can do this now via those buttons here or via those devices here. So if I, for example, select the swing logic, now these parameters are being controlled via this device here and I can now MIDI map or even set up automations in MIDI dummy clips for those devices here and for those parameters controlling those single um, parameters for those different grooves here. I have the fourth device here which is automating the global groove amount. So this is globally and you can see this here it's changing down below here or in Ableton Live 12 it will change up here as well. So those devices are compatible with Ableton 11 and Ableton 12 and you would need Max for Life to make use of those. Max for Life is included in Ableton Live Suite or can be bought as an add-on towards Ableton Live Standard.